Hello there, a new day, a new experiment. As you can see, finally, my Nano VNA version 2 is here on my table. And uh, I'm really glad about this. It's a really nice instrument and it's so damn complex, I don't really know how to use it. But anyway, what I want to do today is to check if one of my X fixing was uh, okay. It was a matter of fixing an antenna which got broke and uh, what I uh, was thinking using an online calculator about having a quarter wave length antenna for a specific uh, frequency like you see it's uh, 760.5 megahertz and uh, I found a certain length of the antenna let's see the footage first well, now I have to do something about the antenna. So I believe a simple piece of wire will be more than enough. Absolutely, yes. But let me see if I can take this out. First of all, we have to deal with the frequency and the length of the antenna. You see, I found this uh, antenna calculator online so all we have to do now is to introduce the right frequency we have 760.5 megahertz okay let's have this 760.5 megahertz okay so let's say we have the shortest one it's 3.69 this value here we have to transform it in centimeters Okay, so we got a value of 9.3784 centimeters. That's how long the wire it will be. Like always, we should start with calibration. And we have those three fake antennas. Output, empty and shortcut one. Okay, calibrate, open. This is the open one. Okay. Now, short, that's the short one, and it's done. And now, the load. The load is silver, kindish. Okay, so now the machine is calibrating. We can start the experiment. Yes, you can uh, see in the video, the length of the wire, it was around nine, 0.3 centimeters so it's exactly what I'm gonna do now exactly the same 9.3 let me grab a piece of wire something like this just a simple I think it's a cat tree or something wire that will be the input and let's cut it to the right dimension 9.3 something like this well so hopefully my theory or at least the way the physics works was okay and now let's see what's happening when we get this into the plug and i don't see anything of course not because i just pushed the bad numbers here let's have 500 megahertz 500 megahertz and there we go we are pretty close uh, i choose the bad frequencies we have this here this gap here so this is exactly the resonating frequency 644 megahertz <laughs> okay so let's cut a little bit one centimeter off and as you can see the frequency went up here we go, 708, <laughs> with a little bit shorter. When you make it shorter, you know that the frequency is rising. Seven hundred and sixty-four megahertz. I think this is the best result. 
we are almost there a little bit more maybe so let's measure now by the instrument what's the uh, the real length so it's 78.9 millimeters and that should be the right length from the antenna the in-ear monitor is not here anymore i don't have it anymore but it's working properly even with the first attempt on 680 or something or 660 megahertz that's pretty close with the with the right dimension so i'm kind of concerned about uh, you know reality and uh, online calculators or you know wave calculator or something like this and uh, let's redo the let's redo the calculation and let me have a screen capture about this so let's find on uh, antenna and okay so let's put here 760.5 megahertz quarter wave 0 0.0 zero ninety four meters it was a quarter wave okay yeah it's okay like 94 94 millimeters okay let's try another one um this one don't we have another one frequency 760 point five megahertz full wave quarter wave nine point eight five centimeters oh it's a little difference but as you can see on the field it was this one and there that's the best match ever okay i don't have a proper um, connector here so that's why it's doing all this mambo jumbo. 700 done. How much is there? 728. Okay. It was a really nice, an interesting experiment for me at least. And uh, it's also a really nice toy. I have it on my bench now. It will be really helpful. Of course, it's it will take me a lot of time to understand all these things about filters and antennas and wires and all this uh, length and so on but uh, i'm really happy for this little machine i hope it's useful don't forget like subscribe and comment and i'll be back with some other projects don't forget to have fun bye bye <laughs>